my life feels out of control right now and what I do when that happens is make a master to-do list. Or you could also call it a brain dump, but honestly, master to-do list sounds better in my mind. So that's what we're gonna do today. There's a couple of sticker books releasing today from Planny Thing, and I'm gonna show you those because I'm gonna use one to decorate my master to-do list because let's face it, we like to make things pretty. If it's pretty, I'm more productive. So let's look at those sticker books first. Yeah, two of them. Okay, so this is the news. This one's new, it's called All You Need Is Love, and then we have a re-release of Houses and Trees because this sticker book was super popular when it came out, and you'll see why. So like I said, these are both releasing today. Very, very exciting. And I have a previous flip through of this sticker book, which I will link for you. Um, I'm not gonna do like a full flip through of this now. Well, I'm gonna do a quick one for you, because, but I'll link that other one for you so that you can see each page in extreme detail. But this is what it looks like. We have some snowy houses and some snowy trees. It is so pretty and some fall. So it's kind of seasonal. This is like summery with the palm trees and the brighter colors. And then it looks almost like spring, right? It's so cute and plenty things stickers are so um, high quality. Like they feel good. All the houses and trees are on clear sticker paper and then these ones coordinate and they're like on paper. Um, we're doing a giveaway of this one. I didn't announce it because I like to give stuff to my regular viewers and not people who just want free stuff. So if you're watching this, I'll talk about how you can win it in the end of the video. I know, I know. Terrible terrible of me, but let's take a look at All You Need Is Love. Now, what I like about Planny Thing is they always give us plenty of time. So this is Valentine's Day-ish, but it's never like a rush. So you're gonna be able to get it within plenty of time for Valentine's Day. You can also use these stickers year round, but um, they definitely have a Valentine's Day feel. So let's check it out. Just so you know, there's two pages of each design so that you don't have to worry about using your favorite sticker. It's still gonna be there for you on the other page. That's what's so great about it. So the first page here is full of little houses with trees that have hearts on them. How cute are they? And um, some of the houses say XOXO or love. They're little Valentine houses, so cute. Again, two pages, I'm just gonna flip both together from now on. So here's a page of little miscellaneous kind of romantic stickers. They look very sort of vintagey. February 14th, XOXO. We have a little love stand here, a little cart with cupcakes and flowers, and we have cakes here, all sorts of goodies, and a little mailbox that has Valentine's in it. This is probably my favorite page in the book because if you know me, you know I love food stickers, and this is so, so freaking cute. Like, the details here, like that little white chocolate strawberry with the little hearts on it, the little I love you jar with candies in it. Like, look how cute. I know. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And you have two pages of these, so you've got plenty and plenty and plenty of treats. You don't have to worry about running out of treats. I know. It's not good for your body, but at least they're on paper. Then we have um, boxes to match. Again, you're gonna get two pages of each of the boxes. Now we're getting into a new theme with very delicate pink florals here, so pretty. And you've got individual leaves so you can make your own bouquets. And then these are a little more detailed and little clusters of flowers. We have some ones that end on the side of the pages. And then very delicate um, colors of boxes to go with it. I love that she includes circles in here because I love using those little circles sometimes in my planner. I don't know about you, but I do. All right, so here's another page with goodies and look, an XO balloon. It's all got sort of this romantic sort of vintage vibe in my opinion, and I'm all for it. I think it's so pretty. Look at this little arrow with the hearts. That's so pretty. I love it. So this page is a little more funky with the lips, right? <laughs> and the, um, 
the donut with the hearts. We have a little present. Ooh, I wonder what's inside that. You think the sunglasses? I don't know, they're too big. I hope I get that present for Valentine's Day. Mike, are you watching? Because I want a Valentine's Day present wrapped like this in a box with a ribbon. Because, you know, if I was wrapping a Valentine's Day present, it would look like that. All right, enough about the Valentine's Day present. We do have a heart box, a box full of hearts just floating out. Love that. More boxes that are gonna match. And then we're back to flowers. So we have a lot of roses here, some reds and pinks. And then um, this one looks like it's probably cut in the middle. Let's see. Yeah, so see. So you don't have to write on, you know, clear sticker paper or anything. You write in the middle on your page. And then those ones. Oh. And then a page full of hearts. I don't know about you, but I always run out of heart stickers around Valentine's Day. And this, these are so cute because they're like painted on kind of, you know what I mean? They have that painting vibe. I don't know, <laughs> but um, you get like, look at all the hearts you get. And then these are cool because these are paper hearts. Yeah, those are fun. You can write your plans in there. Such a cute sticker book, such a cute one. Both of these are adorable. I love this book. I've used a lot of it and you're gonna see me use it today. Um, and you're gonna see how much of it I've actually used because my sticker book's starting to run out of stickers, but I'm giving this away to you. So thank you Plenty Thing for sending me these sticker books and let's move on and talk about my master list today. So here I have a book of filler paper. Yes, it's all blank filler paper. I have two of these that are big size because I do have a lot of filler paper, but I need to choose a page for this. I want it to be sort of neutral because I'm going to be using colorful stickers. So I think, oh, that one's kind of cute though, but I kind of want lined paper. I thought this would be good, but I sort of want to write on lines. So I'm going to choose this paper and I think I'm going to need two sheets because I am extremely, well, that one's kind of messed up, wait. I'm extremely overwhelmed lately. So if you didn't know, I moved um, and I'm still trying to like get my place set up. And you know, when you move, there's just to do after to do after to do. And then while you're doing all that stuff, all your other stuff is piling up. So right now I'm feeling super overwhelmed. So what do I do when I'm feeling overwhelmed? I create a master to-do list because what that does, it gets it out of my brain and onto paper. And even if I do nothing on my list, which I will, but even if I do nothing, what happens is I feel less overwhelmed just by making the list. Do you guys feel that way? That's sort of why I use a planner too. Like when I plan, I feel less overwhelmed because I have a plan and because it's coming out of my brain and onto the paper. And then I can stop thinking about it so much, you know, over and over in my mind. What do I have to do? What do I have to do? I can get it out of my brain. So I'm going to create a to-do list with categories. And I do this when I have so much going on that I need to categorize it. Otherwise it's just so like too much information altogether. You know what I mean? So I have six or seven different categories and what I'm gonna do is make areas for them and then fill it out. That's really all there is to it. So here's my house's entry sticker book, the one I'm not giving away. And here's my categories. You'll see what I mean. So my first category is going to be important. These are urgent things that have to be done. They have a deadline or they're just really, really on my mind constantly and I need to do something about it. So I went through and looked at all of the house's entries and picked the ones that made sense to me as far as the theme. And I know it might not make sense to you, but it's kind of, it was kind of fun to do that. So for important, I picked fall trees because I felt like it had to be done now while the trees still have leaves on them. <laughs> These are the things I make up in my mind to have fun with things that I don't wanna do. So I always make up games for myself to get things done and this felt a little bit like a game kind of relating the sticker to what was happening on the page in sort of a weird way <laughs> okay what i thought i would do is take some washi tape and sort of match it to each sticker and then i'm going to write on the washi tape with a permanent marker i don't usually do that but i thought it'd be 
kind of fun to do this time. So I have a bunch of solid washi. Let me get it. Actually, instead of solid washi for this, let's use this one. I really have been enjoying this lately. It came in a pack on Amazon uh, that, with a bunch of plaid washi tapes, and I just thought it was so cute. So I think I'm going to use this to start. I'm leaving space because I'm probably going to put a title at the top. Let me know in the comments if you categorize your to-do lists. I think it just makes it so much easier to get things done that way. And it's less work for my brain when I'm going through my list. Okay, let's put some trees on here. The houses and tree sticker books are so fun. There's like volume one and volume two. This is the re-release of volume one, but they're so fun because you can make scenes, which I love making scenes. I've put them together with squad girls and all of that. Like they're just so fun. So I'm gonna make a little cute scene over here to remind me that I need to get this stuff done in fall. Like, in other words, this month. Put that one there, I'm gonna put this back. And then maybe like a little one, a little bush or something, wasn't it? Yeah, this one. Is that too big? Yeah. How about this one? So there's my little scene, and I'm just going to write, like I said, with this permanent marker, it's a pilot ultra fine point permanent type marker. Okay, so that's my first section and I'll write things down here and then I'll probably have two sections on each page. I'm probably going to have quite a few things under important because like I said, I've been neglecting stuff. So the next category I'm gonna have is something a little bit smaller. So that would be phone calls. Okay, can you guess why I have a palm tree for phone calls? <laughs> you probably can't. Um, because out of all the categories, that's the one that I can do most on vacation or the one that I would do on vacation, unless I'm out of the country, because that's easy to do from anywhere. And this is how I studied for tests in high school and college, <laughs> doing stuff like this. All right, let's get another washi tape for this one. I have this here. That's a little boring though. Let's spice it up. All right, for this one, I'm gonna use a green grid washi because that makes sense to me. It looks good with that. And let's see, since I'm using a lot of space for important, we'll just have a little section down here for phone calls. Okay, so let's put some palm trees down. Let me know in the comments if you guys decorate your to-do lists. <laughs> I don't usually. I mean, let's be honest, most to-do lists that I make are not decorative, but it's so fun to do that just because it makes a chore a little bit more easy to take, you know? And it makes me want to look at this list. It makes me want to get things done on this list because I can check it off on my fun, pretty list, you know? I kind of want to put this giant palm tree on. Is that weird? Maybe. I don't know if I don't know if it'll fit. Let's take it right off the page. And then we'll put something right there because that looks weird now. Cute. Okay. And that's I'll kind of just write it all over the place down here, whatever calls I need to make. Let's decorate the top. Um, or at least yeah, let me get some letter stickers. That could be fun. I have these, they're um, Happy Planner letter stickers. Whatever I use that, well, all right, that T's a goner. Whatever I use that I can link, I will. Some things may not be available, but I will try. I just noticed my chair is squeaking. Do you guys hear that? Not good. That is not good. I don't want things to squeak in my videos. That will be annoying. But you guys always say you don't hear, you know, when I hear stuff, you're like, yeah, I don't hear that, Mary Ellen. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so maybe things are more no noticeable to me. Okay, to do, well. And also, <laughs> that's really big and also really close to that, but we don't care that much. This is just for me. I guess I'll write here, all right, November. Let me get a different one. I'm going to attempt brush lettering with a little brush pen. I'm good with the big Tombos, but not so great with these. So we'll just try it. 
I just thought it'd be fun to do that like November in um, like a calligraphy type font. I think this pen has seen better days. I don't know. And I will write the year just in case I ever save this or something. Right. 2022. Okay, well, to do in November 2022. And I want to put something up there because I'm extra. How about this? Busy. I mean, that's not a lie. That's not lying. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of weird looking, but let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. All right. Um, I'm going to flip it. Wait, is this dry? I mean, it's permanent, so it must be. So I'm going to flip it and go to the next category. All right, the next category, let's make it emails because that makes sense right after calls, right? To me and my brain. Okay, can you guess why I have snowy houses for emails? Come on, let's make it make sense. No, I'm just kidding. You'll never make it make sense. But for me, like when I was thinking all my categories, I saw the snowy houses. I thought, hmm, what would I be doing in a snowy house? Like if I had nowhere to go, and I was like locked in the house, not locked in, but if I was snowed in and I had nowhere to go, what would I be doing? Probably, you know, as long as there's Wi-Fi, I'd probably be checking my email and doing paperwork. So that's what this category is. I'm snowed in. I've got nothing better to do except for online stuff. Yeah. Let's use this one. But, but first, let's choose a washi. This one looks like snow. Sort of. I haven't used any of these snowy houses yet. They're really fun. Okay. Emails slash online. So anything that I need to do online, like, I don't know, set up auto payments or order stuff or whatever. So that's probably even deserves it a page by itself because I always have a lot of stuff to do online. So I'm gonna give it a whole page, I think. The next page is gonna be work and that is a whole page as well. So let's go to a next page. Actually, you know what, before we do that, I'm wondering, cause I kind of only wanted to use two pages front and back. So now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, am I really going to use this whole page? Probably not. So let's do um, one of the smaller ones. I think errands. That's pretty small. I don't have that many errands to run. Let's, let's do that. The reason I picked this page for errands is it's the one that looked most like shops. And this looks like a shop, don't you think? I think it's a cute little shop. Let's get a washi to match. I mean, come on, look at this one. This is Archer and Olive, I think. It came in one of their subscription boxes, so I can't link it, but they have really nice washi. I can link their washi tape. And um, let's do, let's do it down here. Like I said, I'm not gonna be, there's not a ton of errands I need to do. This looks like a cute little candy shop washi. You know what I mean? I mean, how cute. How cute is that? Let's put something next to it, like a little tree. And then we'll write errands. Okay. Now the next page, it's going to be work. And these made sense to me for work because they look the most like office buildings. Let's grab one of these guys. Which one should we pick? I like the yellow and orange ones because yellow is my favorite color and I have to get motivated to get all my work done. So that makes sense. Let's get some washi. I kind of want to use this one with it because I think the colors look cool together. Oh, I 
should have made it. I need to bring this down a little. I know I'm wasting space on my page, but let's make it real pretty, okay? Let's make it pretty. It's crucial that I make it pretty so that I will actually get things done. I know, it's so weird. Do you guys play games like that? Um, I also time myself and try to beat my score on stuff like emptying the dishwasher. Uh, that's how I get motivated. I need a new piece. That's how I get motivated because I just sometimes cannot get myself to do anything, you know? <laughs> I sound really, really inspiring, but I'm just keeping it real. Sometimes it's just like, oh, I don't want to do, I just want to sit on the couch and do nothing. Like, you know, binge watch a show or whatever. But, but then I think, well, like how fast will it take me to do this chore? Like, or do like quick, do a 15 minute pickup, you know? Um, I always challenge myself to do stuff like that. So this is sort of part of that. Do you guys do stuff like that? There is work. Okay, like I said, I needed just about a whole page of work. So let's flip it. And now we have two more categories, household. And then I thought I should have an other category because I'm sure there's gonna be stuff that doesn't fit in, but that's gonna be small because I pretty much selected categories that I knew were important of the things I had to do. So anyway, household. I have a lot of those because, like I said, I just moved into a new place and there's so much to do for this place. I still have like things to hang and things to put away and things to set up and organize. So I thought having a list would be helpful. And I chose this page for obvious reasons because, you know, they're houses. And I'm just going to pick the house that I would like to live in the most. If I had to choose any of them, which one would you pick? Would you pick house number one, two? three, four, five, six, or seven. Which one would you pick? Okay, now that you have locked in your answer with a comment, <laughs> I'm picking this house. I don't know, there's something about it that's really pretty to me. I'm choosing this washi tape from Archer and Olive. It's not really the best match, but I saw it and thought it was pretty. So let's do it. Um, how tall is that house? We have to move it down. We have to move it down. Okay, there's my house. <laughs> okay, household. And now one more, like I said, is other. So I just chose the page with trees because they're so generic, right? Oh, it matches that too. I didn't plan that. Okay, let's use this puffy tree. No, I kind of want to use this one actually, but we're going to need a tape. We're going to need a tape. Let's choose this one. This is part of that plaid washi tape pack. I don't know. I love the plaids. I need to get more plaids. Where does it begin though? Where does it begin? Here it is. Purple and green go really well together, so I thought that would be cute. Very cute. Okay, so like I said, other's not gonna be a huge area, but I'll start it about here. Should we put another one there? Why yes, I think we shall. Not that one though, this one. No, not that one. <laughs> Such crucial decisions. Maybe a little bush. I need something that's gonna fit like right here. I mean, sure. <laughs> okay, um, so other. Here is our master to-do list. So this is what it looks like. Important phone calls, emails, errands, work, household, and other. Let me know in the comments if you use categories for your to-do lists and what categories do you use because that might help other people try to figure out their own categories because not everyone has the same categories. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be filling out some of this now, but most of it really is going to be when I'm sitting down watching TV or relaxing because I really need to give this some thought and it's hard to do that when I'm sitting under the camera, but I'll start the process now just so you can see how I categorize things and then I will do the rest on my own time. Let's go.
Hello everyone. Okay, so that's a good start. Like I said, I need to really sit down and think about it because I know there's much, much more than this. But in fact, I even thought about something that was under other and didn't write it under other. And then when I got to other, I'm like, uh, what was that? Yeah, so <laughs> I need to get it out of my head. But you can see it kind of helps to organize things because if you have it all on one big list, which I do sometimes as well, it ends up being difficult. Like if I have five minutes, I know I can make a phone call. Will I do it? I don't know. But if I have five minutes, I know I can. You know, that type of thing. Like if I batch tasks, like if I decide, okay, I'm gonna block out two hours online and get all this stuff done. And there's more that needs to be done too. But if I get all that stuff done, I can just bang out a whole bunch of stuff at once instead of being like, oh, what should I do? And having a big list of stuff. Oh, I could do this. You know, it just makes more sense to categorize it in my brain. So yeah, I hope that helps you a little bit. So I know you're interested in houses and trees and I told you I was giving it away. I was not lying. I am giving it away to one of you loyal subscribers. So thank you so much for watching all my videos and subscribing and commenting and giving me all the love. We have had a rough year here together on Planning with Bumble and um, you've been there with me and that is just, you know, very much appreciated. So thank you so much for all of your love. I really do mean that. I'm not gonna make you like jump through hoops to do this. So sorry if you international folks, but this is only open to US residents. And I'm sorry about that, but I don't wanna get involved in YouTube regulations and also shipping problems and stuff. You have until Monday, November 7th at 9 a.m. Eastern time to enter. I'll put all these rules in the description box. There's really not many. All you need to do is comment on this video. That's literally all you need to do. and tell me that you'd like to enter the contest. And then I will do a random drawing on Monday and I'll be responding to the winner's comment on YouTube on this video. So you need to be paying attention to your notifications on YouTube and I'll give the winner 24 hours to respond to my comment and to send me your address um, and all that kind of good stuff, but just pay attention. I like doing these flash giveaways. I hope to do more in the future. I was doing them like once a month and I plan to do that. So I would love it if you would you know, watch my videos and subscribe because you never know. Sometimes I throw it in in the middle. Sometimes I talk about in the beginning or the end. You never know when you're gonna get a little surprise. So <laughs> I like doing that. I think it's fun. That's enough yammering for me. I feel like I've been talking your ear off about random stuff today. But check out Plan Anything, Houses and Trees and All You Need Is Love, available now. The link will be in the description box. And I appreciate you guys for watching all the way through. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.